All right, so the project where I make a Dungeons & Dragons table is underway, and it's in progress. So now I have the Lex, or sorry, this is an acrylic sheet, so it's uh, like plexiglass. So it's 48 inches by 48 inches, and I'm going to build the, the table's basically going to be 50 inches wide. I'm going to use one inch boards on the outside. This is going to sit on top of an inner frame. And then there's going to be another inner frame around the TV that's over there. So that it won't sag in the middle. It'll be frame that frame will be at the same height as the inner frame that it's going to sit on at the edge. So I got this. I have uh, 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 the TV, nice 40 inch uh, that someone's getting rid of. I have my Paul. What was it? No, I'll show you this one first. This one is the pre-stain to condition the wood. This is the wood conditioner, so there's no splotchiness. Then this one is stain plus polyurethane. Oh, it looks like my can got bent in shipping. Uh, stain plus polyurethane is going to be Bombay mahogany. So that should be good. Should be really good. Um, I managed to find a remote for the project for the TV that actually works because universal remotes are amazing. Let's see over here. I got charging blocks, lots of them with three plugs each. We're gonna be set on that. I have a surge protector over there. I just tested it. It's good. Um, I was thinking about drilling, uh, using a hole saw to saw out holes in for the cup holders to drop in, but then I thought you couldn't use a mug. So then I found slate. Slate cup holders are beautiful. I'm just gonna set them on top, and they won't damage the wood. Got lots of paint brushes. Got lots of charging cables. Each cable, this is a set of three cables, each cable has three ends on it. A uh, micro USB, a uh, USB-C, and an iPhone charger, the lightning charger. So each cable is three cables in one, and those are going to be spread around. Oh, I, and I might get another pack of those so I can have one too. Then here I have drawer, uh, basically like keyboard trays, slide out things. Um, I have a crap ton of them, I have eight of them in here, because I need two for each side. So I have eight of them in here. It was a pack. I actually got it for pretty cheap. It was only $28 for the pack. Everything I got on Amazon, I'm going to put a link in so you guys can find it. Just in case you want to do this kind of build too. And go around the other side. Bah, bah. Look around everything. There we go. Got furniture sliders. Dollar store. Lots of screws. I have a lot more in the garage. Crap, ton more. A bin of them. Um, these are just extra. I got the dollar store. It's got calculators for everybody at the table. Okay, got my wood wood burning kit. That was only about fifteen dollars on Amazon. You don't have to have a lot of money to burn cool designs. These are at five below. Um, LED lights. They're like color change and all that. Five below. They have a remote control, USB power. That's all the USB plugs. Lots of felt for making the dice trays. Oh, here it is. <laughs> of course, HDMI, can't go wrong with that. And cable management. I have more types of cable management everywhere. I'm an IT guy and I'm a computer dude and I have, I, I have cables everywhere. This is a gigantic table that they were throwing away. But this wood is like two inches thick. Well, it's like an inch and a half thick, but I like, I, it's good. It's a good solid 100 pound table and I'm going to use that wood. And I also have 4x4s and other wood here, and I have boards, and I have about 24 2x4s that are 8 feet long coming in tomorrow. Just because a friend was very kind and generous and said we could have them. So <laughs> I have enough wood for the project. So I'm excited for this. It's going to be a Dungeons & Dragons table, and we are going to have a lot of gaming time on it. So that's the first walkthrough. I'll just post the next part. It's going to be a long video. Stay tuned for next time I start stuff. Okay, so I got the rest of the wood, and I think I have a lot more than I'll need. So, we're going to have some fun with this. Let's see how it goes. I just picked up the rest of the wood, and I have a bunch of, have a bunch of uh, yard bricks. Like, uh, just the slats that you put in the yard just to walk on, like, pa like, tile, like uh, pathway tiles. So, I got those uh, for the tabletop under, uh, around the screen. So, we'll see you in the next step at, when I start building the frame. Okay, so I got a bit of a, I got a bit of a mock frame put up now. So I just kind of made, I measured it out where there's a quarter inch on each side extra. 
all the way around. I did a test fit. It, it matches how I want it to be. So I'm going to screw these in. I'm going to make the... Uh, basically, I'm going to put it on top right now. I'm going to make basically a bottom frame on each of these. So that I'll be able to set wood slats on top of them going across. And that will be like the base of the, of the table. Uh, ignore the blue thing. Just that, That's going to be the top. It's clear. It, that's just the cover on it. But I'm going to put another board across those basically. So that I can lay stuff on them. Uh, on both sides. So yeah, it's gonna be like a bed frame kind of like putting slats in it Anyways, that's where I'm at so far <laughs> Hey guys, what's up evil zombie here? So now I have kind of built the base part of the frame I have a couple of boards so that the slats can lay on top and I don't need that many slats apparently Remember that table I told you about that I got from the school because they were just gonna throw it away It fits perfectly after I cut it so <laughs> it fills up most of the space So I just need maybe two boards couple boards and I'm good. I actually could just slide that over and then just fill the rest of the spot with extra pieces of wood. So not too bad. That's looking good. And then the, I have bricks that are going to go on top of this. And yeah, we're going to see how this, we're going to see how this goes. So yeah, I'm going to see if I have enough room for the TV one way or another. I'll make it work. So I'm working on it. Okay. Okay. So quick update. I cut the four pieces of wood. These are 38 inches each. The table should be or the, that part should be seven inches thick by the time I'm done with it. Um, I have a couple sawhorses here. So I'm gonna use those to prop the table up on while I figure out getting the legs on. I'm going to attach those from the sides and the top. So, yep, I'm gonna have some fun with that. And this is strong. I have a slot here for the cables to, oh wait, where, that was my hand. A slot here for the cables to fit through. So it's a little gap. But it's not that much of a gap, so the bricks will all lay out nice on top of it, and I can hide the cables in there. Okay. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I've kind of, I've added the legs to it. Um, I secured this a little better now, and I got the legs on. I'm adding braces to them. I will finish that up and add more braces. Then I want to do boards all the way across with the extra boards I have. Um, just to kind of make it like a, like a platform for people to put their bags on and shoes and things like that. So why not? Uh, this is not going to be quite tall, so I'm going to add another board on here, and then I'm going to add a nice flat piece on here on the e around the whole edge. And yeah, I think that's going to work pretty nice. I'm looking forward to it. Um, this should be pretty sturdy. I hope I did the legs well enough. I'm not very good at this, so we'll see. <laughs> hey guys, okay, so quick update. We moved it inside the house. Um, I got the legs on. I got the deck built. So this is just for people to so their bag. This is using all the trash wood. So all the bad wood that nobody would want to use for anything else. Uh, that's what that's for. So we just got that kind of built nice and sturdy on these two platforms. And those, I measured them all from the bottom up. And then those are all nice and even. Um, but we have, I also have L brackets on them to make it a little stronger so that the, this is just nicer, stronger frame. And I use spacers on here just to make it the exact height of the TV because I don't care about the outside appearance of this piece of wood. I have more panels that are going to go over that so that nobody's going to see that. It's going to look nice. TV's going to go in the middle facing this way and I'm going to have the bricks on the other side of it. And this is the exact size of the plexiglass. Um, it's a little bit farther out than the plexiglass, just a tiny bit. So they'll have the outer one inch boards on the outside just for the looks. I'm going to start staining it in a few days after I have all that on there. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So, quick progress update. I have the outer boards on now. They're all going to be sanded, stained, and I'm going to try and champ for the edges um, with a, well, basically with the band saw. I'm just going to cut those so it's nice and rounded. And then I'm going to sand those out so it's smooth. And I'm going to kind of round the edge a little bit on here just so it's not as uh, pointed out. They're all uh, about a quarter, it's about a quarter inch um, up from this one all the way around. The acrylic is an eighth of an inch acrylic. Uh, the table is going to be a color of my clock when it's done. That's the color this whole thing is going to be. So now it's all assembled. Everything is assembled except for the keyboard trays, but I can just stain the wood and do those later. Next step is, stand, is sanding, then I gotta do the pre-stain, then I get the stain and do the polyurethane. Gotta have a stain and polyurethane in one for, what's it called? Uh, Bombay Mahogany is the color. But yeah, check that out. I got the solid boards on each side and I'm very happy about that. that look, that's gonna look pretty good once I have everything done. And I can hide the lights down inside here. 
You can see the lip underneath. There's going to be lights in there that shine down. Okay, little update. Okay, so quick update. I'm measuring out. This is my test piece, or basically my measuring piece, for, or whatever it's called, for the dice trays. So I, I route that out using my nifty tools. Uh, I cut the outline with this and I cut the rest of it with this and I have a perfectly straight line thanks to this. So this is the best little multi-tool ever and I love it. You guys should get that if you ever do anything like dice trays. Uh, let me show you what the finished product looks like. Oh yeah, and I take a piece like this underneath the hole with felt on top of it, glued to it. So yeah, I'll show you the whole thing. Okay, so here's the finalized version of that. As you can see it's a nice dice tray. I have dice in my pocket so you can see. Well, yeah, that's nice. It's soft. I'm gonna have this all sanded down. I just test fitted it right now so that you can kind of just see it. Let me stick all those back in my pocket. But this is enough space definitely for a couple of D&D books or a book and a piece of paper. Uh, I'm gonna have maybe a cup holder over here or something or over here wherever. But it's definitely a nice amount of space. Have cell phones and stuff like that right here because my cell phone's like that big maybe. Uh, this is about the size of a cell phone. That thing. Let me see this room. So that works pretty well on the underside of it is just that it's that piece of wood with some felt on it and I have a dice tray nobody nobody's ever gonna really see it I'm just gonna sand this all out after I remove it and stain, stain it and all that and this is the next thing is sanding this and then burning pictures my girls drew into the wood attaching this bottle opener to here and then burning another picture over there of my wood burner kit and then I stain after I stain, I, then I'll stain it after that. Or I guess pre-stain and all that stuff. So yeah, I'll catch you up next time. Okay, so guys, quick update, just because I know the question's going to come up. The keyboard tray, um, I got the nice rectangle square cut like that because of this tool. It's a multi-function power tool, and it's mostly thanks to uh, this little guy, which is for, cut, for doing the finishing cuts. And... This guy, which is for doing the nice straight lines. And it works fantastic. That's like the coolest tool in the world, and I suggest it to anybody. So go over to Harbor Freight or some cheap store and get one of those if you're trying to do dice trays like that, where they're cut into the wood, because it works really well. Don't use a jigsaw, it's going to cut a very uneven line. Um, this works great, because you can get a very nice straight line with it if you're patient. Okay. Okay, guys, so quick update on what I'm doing. I just finished sanding everything today i had tarps laid up i still have to pull down some tape but next step is staining and here's what i'm using i have pre-stain uh the wood conditioner and i have um stain and polyurethane mix so it's in, in one step it's a mixture and i'm using bombay mahogany and it's not right unless you say it like mahogany that's just how you have to do it sorry uh, so this is the color after after I've done some test stains on these pieces of wood. These two are like the dice tr or sorry the regular player trays. The darker one down there is like this piece. The top one is from this wood, and also these boards are from that top piece. So all the sideboards will look kind of like that, and this is just normal two by four. So you can see the colors of those pieces of wood, and what they looked like beforehand and after. Uh, I just use a paper towel to splotch it on really quick so it's not the best quality version that it can be right now. But yeah, this is the next step. So I like this color. This color looks really good in here. That's kind of here. Let me show you what it looks like in the, in the lighting of the room. I have the lamp on. There. That's what it looks like. You can see. Anyways, I'll update you in the next part because the rest of this will be stained. Okay, so the step I'm on right now, guys, I'm attaching the keyboard tray sliders to them. I already attached the mouse uh, pad things, basically just a block with some felt on it that I screwed into the bottom. And these slide pretty easily. I'm going to mount these to the underside um, along each piece of wood like this. So, let me show you what the finished product looks like over here. Here's one that's all done and came together pretty nicely. Not too shabby. Comes out, looks pretty good, it's sturdy. And I have my dice tray. And there's enough room for my tablet, wherever it is. There, I found it. And then I have enough gap where I can still slide underneath that if I want to. 
So I got enough room for my tablet, maybe a book, some notes, pencils and phone and all that junk, dice. Yeah, it's good. Okay guys, quick update. I'm about, uh, today I'm gonna stain and I have, I taped up all my dice trays so the felt is protected and I don't have to disassemble it or anything like that. So I taped it up, I have that, and then I have that, and I can just stain this, stain this, stain this, stain all that, and it's good. So that's the next step. Okay, so I'm taking a break for a few minutes, and I just uh, stop, I've, I just finished uh, doing the top part where I want to stain and the trays. So I'm just going to kind of show you around and show you how it's going. That's the difference of the color. So I like the color. I love the color. Let's take a look at this. Let me show you the tray. Look at that. That looks nice. I really like how this is coming out. It's all drying for now, but yeah. I'm, on, I'm working on it. I should hopefully be able to finish staining today. And then tomorrow I can put all the stuff in. So yes, update. Okay guys, so a quick update. I'm done staining. The entire table is done staining. I finished it. Look at that. Even the deck is stained. All the posts all the way around. The whole thing. It's all done staining. The only thing I'm not staining is that inside rim and the inside of this. Because it's going to be covered and you're not going to see it anyways. But it's stained. I'm happy. Next thing is assembly, after it dries. So I get to put the TV in, I get to put the bricks in, the lights, uh, I get to do all the wiring, and then put the glass on, and then we get to see what the finished product is like. So it's almost there. <laughs> I'll probably have the camera just running while I assemble everything, I don't know. Okay, so, so a quick update guys. I got a shit ton of these. Crap ton of these um, garden bricks. They're pretty lightweight, and they're pretty sturdy, and they look good. They look cool. So these are going around the TV inside the frame. I already put the TV in the frame. I'll show you that in just a second. Okay guys, so probably the last section, because the table is done. My girls picked a couple of blades that I had in my sword case upstairs to go in it. I have the TV in there. I have the acrylic on there. It's all stained. It's beautiful and sexy. There's my part. I have enough room for a book or my tablet, no problem. Got some slate coasters. Nice dice tray. Just giving you a little tour. Under here, of course, I do have a bottle opener on this side. I have my HDMI cable just kind of hooked up here. I can drag it around and it goes up. Um, of course, we have a nice sturdy deck for you to put your bags on, boxes on, feet on, whatever. Got Mjolnir over here, but it's not just Mjolnir. It's also another bottle opener. So that was a little happy thing. Um, each player, in, uh, other than me, I'll get another one of these later, has a charger and a three-end cable for any type of uh, phone they have or device so that's cool we got the Android we, we have a USB-C micro USB and lightning for the iPhone people those weirdos got pens all these calculators my other ones charging and that's on each side each of those is identical check it out and check it out in my cable management underneath it's not the best but I may do with what I got. And I ran this on a cable strip going down. And I just plug it in and I'll toss the cable under when I'm done. So check that out. I'm liking it. I'm going to walk away a little bit so you can see kind of a full view. So this project, difficulty, pretty high. <laughs> But it came out good, and I'm satisfied with it. I'm pretty happy I did this. So, thanks guys for watching. If you watched it all the way through, you got to see this beautiful table. I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. I've actually never built something like, um, basically just built something myself other than a computer. I've never done woodworking before other than helping my old man build a porch when I was little and I didn't do much. So, there's the table. Thanks for watching, bye.